Mirio, what have they done to you? Oh my god. So, obviously Mirio got nerfed, which I'm fine with, but they nerfed him in the like worst way possible. So, they nerfed all the things that no one was really wanting nerfed. There was like a few good nerfs, but everything else uh, just makes me sad. So, let's get into it. So, the main changes were to his Tilt Quirk 1, which they refer to as Quirk 2 in the patch notes. And this has changed in a lot of ways now. It doesn't. It looks the same, but there's a lot different with it. As you can see, when activation, he's not actually invincible for that whole time when he activates it. So he used to go like invincible, like instantly, just like his quirk one, um, like even before he like runs into the ground. So now he's not invincible. So it's really hard to use like on reaction to projectiles or anything, because if you think that they're gonna throw a projectile, and or if you see them throw a projectile and you try to do this on reactions, and like he does this little run forward as well, you just end up running into the projectile. You have to time it like really well in order to actually like punish a projectile with this. And the next change is something that I guess kind of everyone wanted. So it's actually making it punishable. And this is something that I wanted. Like, you, oh, oops. You shouldn't be able to like sidestep or like attack after it like they, you know, area players always did. So now you can't actually um, do anything um, after the, I'm just getting his guard meter back. You can't do anything after they block it. So you just have to fall to the ground and then you can do things. And you can sidestep and you can attack. But um, before then, you can't do anything, so it actually makes it like properly punishable and easy to punish. Um, what I did not like about this is that that applies on hit as well. He has to fall to the ground before he can recover on hit. So I don't get any kind of like recovery resets, I can't sidestep or anything until I completely land on the ground. It also means I can't extend it like with supports, like if I had a support that wants to like hit him as he does that out of like the air, that's never gonna happen. I can't, you know, like, jump afterwards to make, you know, catch their recovery. I can do nothing. This move, like, why would you ever do it and, and not dash cancel? It's so trash. And the thing is, they're trying to make this more punishable. I mean, it's by, like, making him not able to sidestep or attack after it. But this game is already, like... Like, punishers don't exist in this game. Because it doesn't matter if he has to fall to the ground now, because now no one's just gonna do that. Everyone's gonna dash cancel instantly and go into buttons. Or if you think you're going to interrupt that, they can dash cancel and go straight into a yellow attack. Like, you're not going to punish this. It doesn't matter whether they nerf it like this. I just find this was such a dumb nerf. Like, I see that they wanted to make it punishable. They did, they did it in the worst way possible. Like, no one's going to get punished by this. I can do this. Oh my god. Can you stop getting your guard broken, please? <laughs> like, if I do this, and even if they try and interrupt me, I can go in for a yellow attack. I can just do anything off of it, because this game... Punishers don't exist in this game. <laughs> They're just not there because of the dash cancel mechanic. How you can just cancel after anything, into anything. You can always keep yourself safe. So it doesn't matter if you have to fall to the ground. It's just so dumb, I don't understand. And they just made it trash. So that if I do it on hit, now I can't like jump and chase them down on their recovery. I have to fully land on the ground before I can do anything off of this move, even on hit. Which makes no sense to me, why nerf it on hit? Like, and you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, you just have to change the move and it behaves the same on block and hit. That's not how fighting games work. Moves have different properties on whiff, on block, and on hit. You can have them do that. So, like, make it so, like, if I hit this move, I'm allowed to, like, you know, jump and, like, do stuff and, like, chase them down. If they block it, I'm fine that I have to fall down. It's still stupid that you can dash cancel after it on block, because, like, then you're not going to punish it anyways. But, like... Why make it so I can't do anything on hit? It's so awful. And they already made it worse so like you can't really do it to projectiles. It's just... I don't know, they kind of made it like such a pointless move and like so... So bland. Like there's nothing, there's nothing to it. Like all it's used for now is like in combos and... Like if you just want to do it randomly and like just dash cancel it after it no matter what. Because you're never going to not dash cancel after it. Because if they block it, you're going to get punished. But not if you dash cancel. So like, it's just such a bland, mindless move now, and there's nothing to it. I, I hate it. And another change that I am... Um, <laughs> do I sound like I'm ranting? Because I am. So there was another change to this move, and it has to do with the cancel. Which I thought was actually a really interesting move in this game, because there's not too many things like it. When you do the activation of a move, but you don't actually do the full move. It's a bit of a mix-up, a bit of a, a mind game cancel situation, and there's not many of those in the game. Uh, Ida is the only other character that comes to mind, like with his quirk too, he can do the jump back and then not actually do the leap. But having stuff like this is really interesting, but they decided to nerf it by making the recovery far higher on it. So as you can see, I'm holding down the block button, and all of that time that I'm, I appear out of the ground, I am completely hittable 
Like, there's only that one frame of where I'm invincible, so I'm just standing there for a while, like, completely punishable. And that makes the pressure with this move so trash now, because you used to be able to get, like, interesting resets, because they thought, you know, when your opponent's blocking, they think you're just gonna do this, but, and then, if you don't do it, here, let me just break his guard. But now, if you do the cancel anyways, like, it's so reactable, it takes me so long to actually uh, hit them again after it. It's like, not even a mix-up anymore, it's just like some random way to keep yourself safe. Not that we need any more ways to keep ourselves safe, because we have these goddamn dash cancels that keep everything safe. <laughs> like, they just made this move so bland and so pointless, they removed any spice that was in it, and just made it boring, mindless, like you just throw it out. Well, and there's not even really a point in doing the cancel now, like, unless your opponent has really slow reactions, no one's ever gonna fall for this. Like, a lot of people are actually, in fact, gonna punish it. Like, if they see you don't do the... like, they don't get whacked by the uppercut as soon as it finishes, they're gonna press an attack button and you're gonna get punished for it. Like, it's just so dumb. I don't understand what they were thinking with these nerfs. They're so stupid. I understand that, you know, people don't like Mirio and he seems kind of overpowered. I mean, I would kind of even argue against that, that he's not that overpowered, but, um... Still, I just, I don't agree with these nerfs at all. Um, there was a few slight buffs, like his Quirk 2 apparently tracks slightly better in the air, but as you can see there, it's still, like it says that it has better attack, um, like it basically has better hitboxes is what I gather from it, but it still doesn't really have that, like it'll still miss if I'm like above the opponent, like he doesn't go down that low, unless you're in like the right position for it. So, that's great. And, yeah, Tsunami is really just, like, not that great at all. He doesn't have very good pressure, he doesn't have good mix-ups, uh, he doesn't have tools of getting in on the neutral anymore, because, like, this move's kind of trash now, like, it's not that great. And, you know, he, like, there's not really that much that's great about him anymore. Like, his damage, they nerfed that a while ago, so he doesn't get that much damage from any, any kind of hit, unless it's a plus ultra. Like, wow, 8,000 damage, that's really great. The only chance I have of getting good damage is using a support. Like, that way at least I can get some kind of slightly decent damage. I can actually make it a little bit more. Like, wow, I can get 10,000 damage if I use my support, but never else, or I do a plus ultra. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit salty, because I, I do love me Samirio, and they just... I understand that people don't like him, they want to nerf him, but... Why would you nerf him this way? I'm so sad. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do a Mirio combo to make myself happy to end this video. To remind me that there's something... there's some good things about this character, like... What I actually enjoy, you know, you can actually combo off of his... Plus Ultra. This is the only overpowered thing about him. Or oh, actually, wait, I shouldn't say that, because then they're going to want to nerf that again. The only good thing about him, please don't do this. This is the only fun thing about Mirio now, is that he can combo off of his plus ultra one, depending on the scenario. And get some pretty cool damage. Like, <laughs> that's the only cool part about him. And like, what? Sorry, I'm, I'm definitely ranting right now. If you're still here, I'm sorry. But why do they- why did they- oops. Why do they know this? Like, there's so many things about him that, like, I find annoying and I think are stupid. Like, his red attack. Why does this move have, like, the best tracking in the game? Like, no matter when- like, he can be running around and this move just tracks people to the ends of the earth. Like, you have to sidestep right before he actually hits it for to actually dodge it. Like, it's so stupid. Like, it's, all, it's basically impossible to avoid. I don't understand. See, look, he sidestepped there, like, right as it was about to come out and it's still hidden. See, he sidestepped there, he saw that it was coming out, he sidestepped, still gets hit by it. Why d does a red move have tracking? The way you're supposed to get out of red unblockable attacks in basically any fighting game is that you sidestep or do some kind of way of avoiding it. But nope, not, not Mirio. Nope, his will just hit you no matter what. Like, why would you nerf his things that are actually interesting about him and not nerf the things that are dumb and crazy that, like, don't make sense? Like, this move... You know what, I would have loved if they made it so it has zero tracking. Make it have zero tracking. It's already, like, you know, decently fast and reaches far. Like, that's good enough. It doesn't have to be, like, weirdly impossible to avoid. 
See, look, that, that he did it like almost right before it came out. Still hit him. It's so stupid. Nerf that. Don't nerf his ability to, you know, get resets and get damage and all that stuff. Like, what? Okay. I should end this video now before I get... To... Before I start crying, I'm going to end the video. Anyways, that's all for Miria. I'll see you in the next one.